Okay, so this is the uh, project I've alluded to uh, earlier. This is my old trusty horizontal uh, bandsaw. That's a fluid cooled one. So the hassle of this one is a few things uh, with it, but the main thing is it's low here for your work. And then uh, you you can't find a, a brace or anything that works good when you have longer material to cut. So anyways, I thought it would be handier just to have the whole thing at a higher level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up so that this uh, cutting surface here is slightly like quarter of an inch higher than my welding table here. So that way if I want to cut something that's longer I can just lay it uh, on the saw and on the welding table, just shin the welding table up a little bit, the material on the welding table to make sure it's level, and then uh, it'll it'll be work out a lot better. So this has been a really good unit here, I've had this for, uh, I think I got this 2008, so 12 years, something like that. Got it from our local China store, Princess Auto. Be nice to have uh, uh, one that cuts bevel cuts and everything. This one you can cut bevel cuts with it, but it, it's not as handy as the newer ones. But anyways, they're expensive. Uh, this one's, uh, this one will last me as for as long as I need it, but it, they're just super handy when you're trying to cut some thick metal and stuff like that. Just set her on there and away you go. So it needs a good clean up. Uh, once I, I get this stand made and everything, get it lifted up, I'll clean it up as well. It needs the coolant changed in it and everything like that. But anyway, so I've started, I've cut out some, uh, a few pieces for the frame. Uh, these are going to be the caster wheels. Uh, the problem with it now, it's got just shitty wheels on it. Pardon my French. <laughs> and uh, they don't swivel or anything, so you got to kind of lift it to move around. And it, and it is fairly heavy, it's saying. Uh, so at least a couple hundred pounds, I'm guessing. So this way, be able to move around easily. Uh, when you're not using it, just push it in the corner and store it. And these are nice, nice solid steel wheels. Again, these came from the China store, same place that that came from. So um, I'm just going to tack the frame up, tack the wheels on, and then uh, I'm gonna double measure the height uh, with the wheels on and everything to the cutting surface. So stay tuned. So I'm just cutting the upright square pieces now. Then I'll tack them in place and then I'm going to uh, cut the angle iron frame that the base of the saw will sit in. So I'll just cut uh, three more of these or eight inches and then I will dig up the angle iron and make an angle iron frame. So that's the next step. Okay, so I got all the uprights cut now. Uh, I'm just going to round tack them all in place and then I'll build the frame for the actual saw to sit in.
square it. So just repeat that for all four. So I got the frame uh, tacked together. Uh, to kind of do a little bit of grinding to get it fit nice. Uh, that saw is not the greatest for miter cuts, but uh, usually don't, I hardly ever use it for miter cuts anyways. I've got a uh, miter saw, metal cutting miter saw. I should have actually used it, but thought I'd use this one instead. But anyways, just have to grind it to fit and no problem. So I'm just going to take this out of the jig, flip it over, tack it up a bit more, and then I will weld it to the stand. And uh, might be about, I'll put the wheels on the stand, but it might be as far as I can take it. Uh, I'll try and get my son to give me a hand tomorrow. See if we can deadlift it onto the stand just to make sure everything fits, and then take it back off and finish welding it up and paint it. So I'll come back when I'm going to weld it, when I weld it right on the uh, stand. Okay, so I got her all uh, roughed out here. Be nice and maneuverable, not like this thing where you have to skid it across the floor. So I've got it tacked together, um, like say if you can get this lifted in for a test fit. And as long as it fits okay, and I'll uh, weld it all back up and paint it. So hopefully that fits okay. Um, I'm not sure if two of us can even manage it. Should be able to, but if not, I'll just uh, I'll bring my engine hoist on from work there. That's how I lifted it on and off the truck in the past. So, so anyways, uh, that's it for now. Next step, like I say. Get that on top of there just to make sure it's all fitting up properly. So I picked up this piece of expanded metal that I'm going to use it as a shelf on that bottom part of the frame. It's kind of cool stuff. It's like quarter inch rod that's all woven into a mat. So I'm just going to cut this out to size and then I'll tack it in there and then I'm going to finish welding it up get it painted and then get it to uh, get the saw back on it
So I got it all welded up. It's the case of the uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I've welded for a while, but it'll it'll definitely hold, so just gonna go over to bet with some scotch right and then get some paint and paint it up. Okay, it's all painted up and I uh, got the wheels bolted on. This is a wrap. The only thing I should have done was cap these tubes off on this end. I had some pieces to weld in there, but I forgot. But not the end of the world. So much easier to move around now. A lot easier working height. So that's it. On to the next project. <laughs>